what we have right here is what used to be in here. A, um, I forget the model number, but it's a... Oh, there we go. Sylvania SA8500 4-7. And there goes the sleep button. And <laughs> This clock doesn't quite function, and it will never function again. But I figure I'd show it to you. It does have battery backup, as you can see. I am keeping the time. Although it will not set the date and time. Date. Although it will not set the time. So... That's kind of a limitation. This is the transformer. Just a rather large size transformer. And I'm, I'm doing this so I can show you what is actually inside one of these clocks. See, it does use ribbon interfaces. There, this switch is the, um... The auto on-off, that's the alarm switch. Or the alarm radio switch. And then allows you to turn it from a radio is only on when... Or that's alarm mode. And the radio is off, the radio is on. This is all it really is. It's just... A three position switch. This is the tuning dial. It has the uh, an internal AM loop which is right there, and um, the external antenna, which is this gigantic black wire. This right here allows you to select which band you're on, AM or FM, and this is the volume. You hear that click? That is the buzzer. When it clicks, it means you've got it in buzzer, and the radio will not function. There are two potentiometers right there that I am not certain what they go for. There are a whole bunch of... Uh, capacitors and transistors and other miscellaneous objects. There is gunk everywhere. It's orange gunk. I think it's actually electrolyte from a capacitor, which is definitely not a great thing. It is driven by an SC8560 chip. And either way, this thing is done. It's never going to work right again. And I am going to be destroying it. But uh, let's plug it in. Ah, oh, polarized plugs. I hate those. Oh, look at that. It has lost the time. So I don't know how well that battery works or if it even works at all. Alright, so let's try and set it. And it does sort of function. And it just stops. 2.05. It's already 2 o'clock. Okay, I had the minutes working a second ago. There we go. Oh, wait. There you go. You see, it's a total piece of junk. It doesn't set properly and never will. Let's see if the battery works. The battery does not work at all. Alright, so let's take a look at the function of the radio. which doesn't work because there's no speaker. I forgot about that, I pulled the speaker off. This clock is should not live to see another day.